Hi guys. So now we will talk about the levels of the independent variable. Now that you know what the difference is between independent and dependent variables, you can now explore them further. Looking back at our example of sunlight exposure on bean seedling growth, we can look at the amount of sunlight that is the independent variable. There could be three types of exposure, meaning three amounts of sunlight that the beans get. Zero minutes of sunlight a day, that would be one. 60 minutes of sunlight a day, that would be two. And 120 minutes of sunlight a day, that would be three. This is just for argument's sake. So we are saying that there are three types of exposure. These Three amounts of sunlight that the beans are going to get are called the levels of the independent variable. Levels are the variation, the changes, the difference in amounts of the independent variable. This goes back to our basic definition of a variable. That is, that variables take on different values that change. The variable of sunlight exposure can vary change in three ways, and that is the amount of minutes of sunlight the beans get. So that is our levels. I could broke it down again. All right. So the amount of sunlight with these beans they get that we independent variable. All right. We decide we are give one beans zero minutes. We are give an X beans one hour. And the third beans, we give a two hours of sunlight with our 120 minutes. You add 60 plus 60, right? Okay. So we have for we independent variable. The amount of sunlight with the beans to get. The amount of sunlight vary or change in a three ways. Then the three changes, three variation, three amounts, we call the levels. You could have levels for your independent variable, no matter which kind of independent variable you have. For example, if you do people and you do for gender, then male and female, that are your levels. Because it change in a two ways. You're either a man or you're a woman. That the three basic two genders we would do in a, this example. Going back to English. Our independent variable can vary depending on what type of variable you're doing. So if you're doing gender, it will vary by male and female as the two basic variations. So you would have two levels. Still the independent variable, which is gender, but two levels of it, which would be male and female. These levels are important for you to consider when you are doing your study. Your independent variable will usually have two levels at the very least. 